Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to let you know that in this video we have a co-host. Mm. What a co-host. Oh, it's yes. going to be amazing. Mm. Yeah. So please stay tuned. Mm. So we have Georgette on the channel today. Welcome. Thank you, Lisa. Ah, I'm so honored to have you here. No, I am honored and privileged mm, to be here, Lisa. You guys think I have vibe and what? This chick. <laughs> <laughs> she wins me. She wins me. So welcome. Just tell them who you are yeah. and then we get right into the topic. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, just to say that you're doing such an incredible job. Oh, thank, thank you for you. being a voice mm. uh, in a media space on the mountain of media as a Christian and with the, you know, speaking out on the right and godly mm. family values. Thank you so much. You're doing such a great thing. Oh, guys, you see, I'm doing great things. So please subscribe, like, share, uh -huh. you know, mm. like, do the needful comment. Mm. We want to hear from you. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yes. And you look lovely. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you so oh, yes. much. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. mm -hmm, tell them who you are. Yeah. What do you want them to know about you? Great. Thank you. Uh, mm. My name is Georgette mm. Ocheng Dabuche. I am a wife. I am a mother. Mm. Uh, and I am so privileged to be a minister of God mm. uh, in, you know, in the places that he has called me to be. I'm also an entrepreneur. Yeah, uh, yeah I just get to, to live a really, really amazing, abundant life mm. by the grace of God. I've uh, been married for seven years. And together with my lovely husband, Linus Ndawuchie, we have one handsome son. Oh, Sometimes beautiful. Mm. But let's go with handsome. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about things we need to stop normalizing. Yeah. 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 People are out there doing things and we are just like today, mm. we want to say something about it. Mm -mm. Mm? This is your cor you're correct. Yes. Mm. We need to say something. And please don't take offense. Just yeah. this is our truth, what yeah. we believe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comment section if there's something else also people should stop normalizing and uh, let's get the conversation going. All right, so I'm yeah. going to start. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. One <laughs> thing, I uh, have mm -hmm. uh, my own points here. Mm. I don't want to forget them. Give them to us. Stop normalizing being absent parents. Guys, we need to stop it. Um, let me just say, can hear pins dropping. Yeah. Mm. Like you find people. I know yeah. sometimes, yeah, you you have to take that job up country. I mean, out of the country, two years, three years, four years, mm. and you're not with your children. Mm. Guys, I think. For me, in my view, mm. as I'm inspiring you to have stronger families, I think mm. it's just a no-no. Mm. Like, you see, when the Bible is talking about in Proverbs, fathers, correct your children, or, you know, listen to the words of your mother, etc. Mm. It's parenting together. Yeah. So if you are away for a long period of time, mm. who is going to parent? Yeah? Mm. And I have a quote I read. I, I read a lot of books and mm. a parenting book that says, mm. you may choose who to marry. Mm. You may choose when to marry. <laughs> you may choose when to have children. Mm. You may choose how many children to have. Oh, wow. But once you have those children, you cannot choose when to raise them. Wow. Your choices are gone. Oh, wow. If you do not raise them, they mm. will still grow, mm. but you may not like what mm. you get. So yes, that cuts mm, deep, Lisa. It, it does. That cuts really yeah. deep. So yeah. we need to think about all the choices and decisions we are making. Yeah. And yes, and sometimes all of us make selfish decisions. Sometimes, yeah. yeah you want to advance in career. Mm. You want to have that amazing job. But hey, your children need you. You have mm. chosen to have the children, so mm. be present and yeah. have them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Lisa, absolutely, I agree with you. Although, um, you know, sometimes life yeah. can bring circumstances mm. and situations and really you're left mm. uh, with almost no choice. No choice. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and I just want to, you know, speak to people who may be listening in another. You have, you have a sister, you have a friend, mm. you have a cousin, or it could even be yourself. Mm. And life has just left you with a choice where it's a catch 22, yeah. you know, you're damned if you do, you're damned if, if you, you don't. don't. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but in that season, I think for me, because there are seasons, yeah. you know, sometimes you have to go for a master's for mm. two years. Mm. Uh, sometimes um, 
you have to be away uh, for one reason or the other that is beyond your control. You know, sometimes you're plagued with an illness, yeah. you know, that takes you away mm. um, or that renders you immobile. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in your bed for yeah. weeks and weeks on end uh, and you can't be the parent that you ought you to, to be to your children. Yeah. yeah. And when those seasons come, um, because they do for some people or yeah. for many people, mm. I think when they do, it is to seek the wisdom of God yeah. and to seek the counsel of God. You mm. know, uh, there's a scripture in the book of Proverbs that says, in a multitude of counselors, yeah. there is safety. Yeah. Another version says, in a multitude of counselors, there is wisdom. Mm. And, and I think it's to uh, surround yourself with uh, godly people mm. and, you know, father and mother figures that's if your biological parents for one for whatever reason because i know sometimes that may even be a situation because yeah. some people when they have to go study or they're going to be away for whatever reason they take them to their parents, parents and yeah. some people don't have that privilege you mm. know so what do you do you know you surround yourself with, with people. godly people mm. you know um and the bible says raise up a child train a child in the way that he should mm. go and when he has grown up he, he will, will not depart from it, it. yeah mm. uh, and you need godly people yeah. to do that you know here in africa we say it takes a village, village. Mm. to raise a child yeah. you know what i mean and mm. and i think many of us i know uh when i say that you know i i have an uncle who has been there for me you know mm. as you know on top of my biological parents i have you know an auntie who has been there for me on top of my biological mother you yeah. know uh you know it's it's because there were times and seasons where my parents Could couldn't not. be there yeah. and be the mother that mm. they wanted to be or the father mm. that they wanted to be mm. but god is so good mm. and he's so gracious and so yeah. he brings such people you mm. know so i think um if you can and you must, it's, yeah. a, it's a responsibility yeah. to your to court, you. yeah. yes, to mm. the quotation you've just read, uh, but for whatever reason mm. that life may bring, mm. you know, uh, that you'll surround yourself with yeah. godly people. Yeah, that's amazing because yeah. God puts these people in our lives to, Absolutely. to, to support us and help us. Yeah. And, but as parents, just be aware that it's your role. Yes. First, yes. Yeah, yes. your role to do that parenting mm -hmm. and your children need you mm -hmm. um, first and foremost. Oh, yeah. yes. So, oh, yes. yeah, that's my first point mm. we need to stop <laughs> normalizing <The queen's> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. Uh, what's your next point what's your first point so mine is netflix and chill mm. 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 yeah what <laughs> is the issue what is the problem you know i i think as christians yeah, and mm. i'm going to speak to christians i'm going to speak to believers here yeah. that we really normalize watching a lot of content that to be honest has not built us, yeah. Lisa, you yeah. know. Yeah. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter and the 23rd verse, and mm. it says, you know, guard your heart with all vigilance. Mm. The Amplified Classic says, with all vi vigilance, for mm. out of it flow the issues of, of life. life. Yeah. Mm. Now, if we are to go and say guard, eh? you know what it means to guard? Barricade. Hey, eh, whoa. Eh, yeah. Vigilance. You know, mm. that person is vigilant. Mm -hmm. eh, with you know, some versions say with all diligence. In yeah. fact, I think that's the one that is most common, that guard your heart with all diligence. Mm. What does it mean to be diligent? You mm. have to be... Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you have to extreme, extreme about, about it. it. Yeah, you yeah. have to be extreme. You have to be, about it. Thank you. That's the word. Excellent. Mm. You have to be determined. You yeah. have to be um, aware. You get what I mean. Eh? And the thing is, because Netflix and chill is really, ah, I've had a long day at work. Yeah. And First oh, thing. Let me, after I've uh, fed the kid, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know, I've parented, mm -hmm. <laughs> to your point. Good. Yeah, we've had a parent. <laughs> <laughs> but now, somebody, anybody, get me a remote. <laughs> I need to relax. relax. Mm -hmm. I, my Netflix account cannot be, mm -hmm. they have not paid my $10, $10. I don't know how much it is now. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It has to be paid all the yeah. time. And then you go, you flip. And all these things seem innocent, yeah. but the things that you're that you are Would allowing you? to enter your heart mm. and your and your ears, you get. And when things like offense build up and things like unforgiveness and things like comparison. Does come from somewhere. Yes. Because whatever thing you the content that you've been feeding has told you if you don't drive this car, yeah. if you don't look, look like, like this, this, then you're not successful. Yeah. And the Bible says, guard your heart mm. with all vigilance, with all diligence, for mm. out of it flow the issues of life. Of life. Yeah. You get. And there's another version, I beg, I beg your pardon, another scripture that says, um, out of the abundance of the heart, the, the mouth, mouth speaks. speaks. So what 
what is yeah what's coming into your heart mm. what's coming into your ears what's what, what are you watching yeah. someone may say mm. ah, me me i'm a christian like mm. I, i'm strong like mm. nothing can shake me really mm. so I'm, i'll just watch and then move on entertainment alone and mm. then yeah mm. Mm. No, it's never, <laughs> it's never entertainment alone yeah. because what you see and what you hear goes into your what? Subconscious. Mm. And, and you don't even know that it's and really... It's entering. Yes, yes. Music is one of those. You mm-hmm. know, the things that we hear. Before you know it, you're, you're humming to the cafe and you're like, mm, this is a beat. As a so Christian, nice. yeah, I'm like, ah, but that, let me just use the, the beat. Yeah. The words we shall silence. But yes, you see yes, the yes, beat yes. and there's a spirit behind that song. Mm. <laughs> and that spirit is not of the Lord. Mm. Hala, Christian. Yeah. 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 It is not, you know. Mm. There's another spirit powering it. So we have to, with all vigilance, with yeah. all diligence, guard our heart and our mind yeah. and our eyes mm. and our ears. Mm. When you talked about the music thing, secular mm. music is uh, disturbing Christians yes, so much. Yes, and we normalize you know? it. Yeah, and be like, no, it's just a beat. It's just mm. a word. Mm. And I too used to struggle um, yeah. a while back. And yeah. in terms of struggle, like... If you do not, because I love dancing, mm. and you know it, eh? <laughs> like you're such like, a good dancer, like, Lisa. You know, ah, so that beat can be come like, on, hey. come on, come on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so I used to struggle because yeah. I used to present in schools mm-hmm. and things like that. But then mm-hmm. when you really understand that mm-hmm. there's a spirit behind it, it becomes, mm-hmm. you know, so God set me free, thankfully. Amen. So I cannot be there and I'm saying, let me let me play this song, you know, yeah. because now I'm aware of mm-hmm. what, 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 what's the messaging or what are they trying to say? Mm-hmm. You know, they are uplifting certain things mm-hmm. that are not aligned to your value system That's and things so like that. So it becomes sad. a challenge, you know, oh, but, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, so to you out there as a Christian, mm-hmm. if God is just nudging you a bit on mm-hmm. it, yeah, mm-hmm. don't let it control you because sometimes mm-hmm. without that music, people can't do anything. Like, oh, yeah. no, I need it to, as, as I read, as mm-hmm. I relax, mm-hmm. you know. To get me yeah. to a vibe. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you can pour into uh, Christian music. It's also yeah. good and Amen. it's also... Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Nice. and there's good gospel mm. a bit music yeah. that will get you the right vibe because that's mm. what you want. Hey, <laughs> that yeah, one, that mm, one. You want huh. the right vibe. Ooh, all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, hit thing. us with your other points. Oh, my other points, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, normalizing, treating house helps like they are ha, trash. You have an agony, you have banged the points. We do not treat them well mm. and it's so sad because for mm. me, I'm passionate about it. You know, mm. it breaks my heart when I mm. see even Christians. Mm. Someone comes to work for you. Maybe she's a leave, mm. leave out. Without. She comes. Mm. She does not drink any water in the home. She's not allowed to drink anything. Mm. Like for you, just work after working. Go. Even like a banana and <laughs> Don't they are for the children. Mm. They are for the children, you mm. know. Some people, your house helps. I mean, your children are, are beating the house helps and you're not doing anything about mm. it. Like the house help is helping you. Yeah. Is supporting you on this journey but yeah. you're treating them like they do not matter for yeah. me it breaks my heart mm. and i know it comes from what you saw your parents doing so if yeah. your parents treated your house help like that mm. then you come and do the same because mm-hmm. that's what you know mm. so for me i just want to say mm. no 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 mm. as in it it needs to stop yeah yes you can be professional mm. some people don't want to laugh with them that's fine you may not want to laugh with them but just treat them like human no, dignity we should laugh with our people so, <laughs> uh, auntie now if you offer laugh she will not do the work she'll that's familiarize what uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what they say, you know but you can still put boundaries and treat these people like normal people yeah yeah for me yeah. for me that's a no it's a yeah. no yeah yeah wow you know lisa that is such a great, great point you've raised. And so you talked about growing up and how we have seen our parents yeah. treat. So growing up, my mom treated our maids honestly really well. I mm. remember one of them who had served with us the longest, uh, uh, unfortunately, may her soul rest in peace, had HIV. Oh, yeah. So at the end of her, the end of her life, really, mm. she was at her home. Mm. Like, literally, I can never forget the image. She was down in a room. She had lost weight. Oh. So I didn't know then mm. um, that it was HIV. My mom later retold the story. Yeah. But I remember my mom nursed her until she had maybe a couple of days. Like, when my parents saw, ah, mm. she may die from here. And you know those arrangements. Yeah. Like, trans- it's tricky. It's tricky mm. and family and what. So I remember they made uh, transportation arrangements and then... They took her. Mm. But the thing I think that stayed with me, Lisa, is that my mom traveled. For, I didn't, we, again, we were kids, so we didn't go for the burial. Yeah. My mom traveled for the burial and spoke at the burial. Aww. But that family mm. said they have never, like us the, the, that she stayed with, that they have never got a family mm. that looked after their daughter. Like, like the their, way, own. Like their yeah. own. To the point that she comes, travels, ensures, and 
speaks on behalf mm. of her employer. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. And for me, that that left something in me, yeah. yeah? So the nanny I have now, we got a nanny when uh, my husband and I uh, gave birth to our son. Mm. Um, so our nanny has been with us now coming to three years. Oh. Our son is uh, also three years. So mm. she came a few months in, yeah. And, you know, there, there are times you're like, hey, but, you know, in fact, as I was driving here, <laughs> I was telling somebody that, you know, there was a, something breaking out between my nanny and somebody else. And I said, God, should I just... Mm. But then, you know, God had a voice and, and I believe it's the Holy Spirit, you know, saying, but she's family. Yeah. Would you do that to, to your mm -hmm. You would correct them. Mm. So what I did, I was like, you know what, let me first neutralize the situation. Yeah. Do what I've been called to do here. Yeah. Then go back home and ensure that, okay, things happen, but this is how you do, it. do it. Because yeah. maybe no one told her. Uh -huh. Maybe she doesn't know better. Mm. And God has placed her in your home, you know? What if she's the Joseph in your home? <laughs> mm -hmm. what, if, what if it's your home she's yeah. starting in yeah. and she's on her way to a palace? Mm. Who knows, yeah. you know? Who knows the destinies yeah. that these people like carry? Actually, that, um, the story of what king who had leprosy and the, the oh, slave who had... Um, nab ne uh, nab oh, Nehemiah. No, 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 no Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a rebuilder. Uh, of that. Um, he was a general. Yeah. Yeah, and okay. he had leprosy, yes. and the, oh the, the, the slave is the one that said, there is a oh guy. Oh my goodness, that name has... <sighs> Nabal, Nabath, I don't know, anyway. Nabal, Nab... Anyway, guys, there's... Naman. Is... Yes. Naman, I think. I think. I think it was yeah. Naman. Yeah. Oh, I hope yeah. you are right. <laughs> but All anyway, right. Yeah. yeah, and the slave girl Girl's. is the one that saved his life. There we go. That's but if you treat them like... One. Please, I am better than you. Mm. You do not know anything. Like, just mm. do your work. Do your, if she falls sick, you cut off her salary. Like, mm. oh, my mm. God. And they are struggling. And they are just little girls whose dreams did not just come through. Mm. Like, they just had, they also had dreams, I guess. Yeah. But life has brought them here. Yeah. So, for me, I always say mm. my house help is my purpose enabler. Because without her, Excuse me, I wouldn't be copy. here. I'm going to copy. Copy. I'm copying. <laughs> I'm changing the name in my phone book to Papa's, Papa's Enabler. Because if she's not there, mm. I cannot be here. Mm. I'll not be the kids. Mm. I have to, you know. So can we just see them in that light? And I yeah. know they come with their issues mm. and things like that, but mm. do your part. Like, yeah. I can't do this for her because she'll run away. <laughs> be good. Yeah. Be that person. Yeah. So that by the time she leaves your home, you've left a mark. Yeah. And the seed will be, you know, sown. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Amen. I love that. The last thing on that, uh, mm. some people say, ha, you know what? They made us one year. Mm. Ha, now they become used to you. Yeah. No. We shouldn't normalize that kind of we language. Shouldn't. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Mm. Uh -huh. What's yours? Offense. Mm -hmm. Lisa. Tell us more. We normalize what do you mean? offense. So offense is um, if somebody says something that you don't like, or you, or they do something to you that, you know, honesty is even unjust, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, or you know, maybe they have not given you something that you think they should have given you. <laughs> you know, sometimes we can ask people for money, yeah. And okay, they, they are loaded, and you're like, eh. And then when they when they, they tell don't you give no. you, they tell you no, you're like, and you take offense because yeah, it's their money. It's their money. Mm -hmm. Or you know, even in marriage, our mm. spouses may say something, yeah. or we may say something. Mm. You know, I mean, even the maids. Yeah. When a maid does something and mm. then you take what? Offense. offense. You're like, hmm, I'll show you. You get. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. yeah. So we, we, we normalize offense and talk about, can you imagine mm. what so and so said mm. in a group setting? Even as Christians, you yeah. know, hmm, can you imagine what they did? Mm. They're not serious. They're shaking then, table. Uh -huh. Then after that, this one throws in. And then the other time, by the way, we think it was only just you. Mm. Hmm, this is what they did to me. Yeah. Uh, I had, they also did five years ago. And then we keep carrying on that offense yeah. and what we're doing is the seed of offense has been sown mm. and what we're doing is watering it mm, mm, mm. and yet jesus said uh, that we must forgive 77 times in a day mm, times seven times seven oh. in a day mm. and the apostle paul and i love this scripture mm. <laughs> the apostle paul in the 24th chapter and the 16th verse of the book of acts he says that i will strive i will do everything mm. not to have offense towards god and towards men. men. Because some people do take offense towards God. Mm. And I have met a couple of them mm. because of one reason or the other and how yeah. life has panned out. Mm. Yeah. But if the Apostle Paul said that I will will, in fact, um, when you when you read what some of the versions and the definition, eh, it's 
will. Mm? I, I will will myself yeah. mm? not to take what? Offense. offense toward God and toward men. Yeah. Offense is a stealer of destiny. Mm -hmm. It's a stealer of purpose. You hold a grudge and it eats you up. Yeah. People like to say that uh, you take the poison hoping the other person will, will die. die. It's you. <laughs> it's it's you. you. Yeah. It will steal your destiny. Yeah. Let it go. go and especially for me i want to also add mm. um in marriage yeah huh. the person you love the most mm. obviously is going to offend you mm. somehow mm. you know but this is the person who you've committed to do life with mm. and for me when i hear people are doing lucidica not talking <laughs> when you're two weeks one week you're not talking to your spouse the yeah. one you chose yeah. honestly i'm like no do yeah. not let those seeds because they will germinate because in that window that's where mm. the devil is working mm. you know so i just for me, I just keep telling people, don't take things too seriously. Like, mm. people are not out there to get you. Okay, mm. some are, but, mm. you know, if I tell you something, mm. maybe I'm, I'm trying to correct you or something. Mm. Don't just take it in mm. a bad way, mm. you know. And for me, people always like that word. Mm. You're judging. You're being mm. judgmental. You're, or you're doing that. You're being too much. Uh, and I, I feel like mm -mm, mm. we have normalized doing the wrong things and yeah. people, we want people to accept them mm. because... Mm -hmm. No, don't, you can't tell me anything, mm -hmm. as in, and they use a verse. If you have a logo oh, in your no, eye, I, don't cheat. How can you what? take out a meal who has a speck? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just accept people with the sin and we don't want even to call it out. So to rebuke in love. Exactly. And the Bible, there's a place to rebuke in yeah. love. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, the, I think there's a, uh, a scripture in the book of Proverbs that says, you know, better is one who rebuke you in love, and I'm paraphrasing this, mm -hmm. than one who will kiss you. Mm -hmm. But when, like, they are kissing you, and they're like, pretends, pretends they're like this trick, but, yeah. man. but then there'll be one who come out and say, my sister, yeah. my brother, mm. here, mm -mm -mm -mm. No. you know, that's one who really, really loves, loves you. you. Yeah. And another thing, I think around offense that we uh, normalize, Lisa, is, you know, our mothers and fathers-in-law, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you talked about marriage, yes. you reminded yes. me, I was like, you know, hmm. Mm, mm, but yeah, you're the, you're the wife. Mm. Yeah. How could she yeah. say that to you? Mm, what does she mean? Mm. Eh? Your mother-in-law. Mm. Mm. And yet, God has commanded us. And this yeah. is the commandment that has a promise. Mm. Yeah, Honor your father and your mother that it may be well, well with, with you. you. You know, no, he didn't say honor your father and mother that biologically gave birth to you. Mm. They're your guardian. Your father figure, your yeah. mother figure, mm. the, the ones that you, the ones that you will adopt by by way of marriage. Mm. Yeah. Yes, mm. Mm. but auntie, mm. they're toxic. People uh -uh. are saying they're toxic. <laughs> I have a toxic mother-in-law. <laughs> Remove those words from your mouth. Yeah, don't listen. Don't be a part of sowing that kind of seed mm. in a mother and a father that God has called you to honor. Whoa. Don't be those. Mm. When you hear the things in the in the family, you know Christmas, eh? mm. they, they, we are, they are cutting onions, yeah. chopping tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Ah, and they start those things, or they start to like maybe gossip about something that's happening. You know how like those family gatherings, there's always yeah, something there's, that there's will happen. Always, yeah. mm -hmm. Step away. Just step away. Mm. Mm. Just step away. Or keep quiet. Mm? But just step away. Check some because sometimes keeping quiet, you hear the things, and they could affect your heart mm. and your heart posture mm. towards the person. Mm. Mm. So step away is the yeah. better one, Lisa. Mm. Mm. Ah, it's, it's a hard one, especially mm. if they are not... Uh, Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. hard, you mm. know, but God also calls us not mm. in only places where things are good. Yeah. Sometimes you yeah. are the one that's going to shine that light. That's right. And the scripture doesn't say, love your amazing, wonderful. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Father and mother. No. Just father and mother. That's it. Whether they're amazing or not, not, honor them. That's it. Stop normalizing. <laughs> Suffering uh, as a wife and mother. You guys are but carrying you the you load. Bring the things you like. want to do everything. <laughs> you are the one who does any... Uh, <laughs> guys, guys, I think there are better ways you can do things. And yeah. I've seen so many wives crumbling because, again, yes, we're yeah. going to be parents to the mm. children. We have to be there with them. But I'm reminded that these children are not our own. Mm. Like, God is the only one who can fully protect them 24-7. Yeah. So, 
Sometimes, sometimes mm. as moms, we mm. want to be everything. You, mm. you don't want to leave your children with even anyone, so you can mm. just step away mm. to even go and have time with your husband, mm. or mm. you're the one who will wash and cook and mm. do everything, and and you will not accept help. I mm. think there is no prize for mm. the one who suffers the most. I yeah. think where you can get systems, yeah. where you can get gadgets, yeah. get them. Yeah. You know, and you know, for men, uh, I must say. Um, if he's the one in charge of, is, is it slashing or something? Mm. He gets a lawnmower or mm. he gets someone to do it. Mm. Or he's in charge of protection. Mm. There is a guard. Yeah. You know, so he also has help. Yeah, help. Yeah. So as a woman, as a wife, please get help and accept it because yeah. you will break. I've seen yeah. lots of women crying and saying, marriage is hard, I'm doing everything. But just, just allow some people to help you. It's true. I think for me... No. Papa Seneblas. Yeah, allow them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I delegate, guys. I delegate, put systems, allow them to support you mm -hmm. where you cannot. You know, where wow. you cannot be. If you wow. need that extra gadget, find a way of getting it. If you wow. need to talk to your husband about getting more support, mm -hmm. please do it. Because if you're, you know, what they call it, like you're out, like, mm -hmm. you know, you've seen moms that are just... They, like they have no life and soul mm -hmm. because yeah. they are tired. They are worn mm -hmm. out. They are dry. They, they are dr you will not even have time for intimacy with your husband mm. because guess what? You're tired. Your, mm. your back is breaking. Mm. So for me, I think we mm. need to stop normalizing mm. trying to be super woman. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. There, there is no reward, by the way. No. Nope. Yeah. When I read my Bible mm. and I'm happy to be corrected, mm. I don't see a reward for, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for, yeah no. for, you know, doing things that ideally you could Get delegate, yeah. get, get someone to help you with, mm. and and then concentrate on the thing that you're best at mm -hmm. and the thing God has called you to be. Mm. Of course, as a wife and a mother, there are some things you can't delegate. No. Just mm. as a husband um, and a father and an, an employee mm. and an employer, there are things that you have to carry yeah. the responsibility. Mm. Yeah, but then there are those that surely, mm -mm. Uh -uh, for sure, Please. Please. return on investment. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, please try and get support yeah. and it will help you. Oh, yes. You will be happier. You'll be oh, a happy yes. mother. You'll yeah. be even a more present mother because yeah. eh, if you're <laughs> not washing, at least you can be reading a story to your children. That's you know? so good. Just find a way to mm. make it work. Yeah. So yeah. for me, that's my other point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other for us? No, no. Actually, I'm looking forward to your next one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So another one, mm -hmm. uh, we need to stop normalizing come and we stay. Ha, come and we stay. Until now, mm. you see, we need to first see if we can work properly. Mm. Eh? If Jail. We, mm, mm. If we are compatible. Ah. Mm. As if there is such a thing. Mm -hmm. Please, we need to stop that stuff. And you'll mm. find that mm. the ladies are the one disadvantaged because after the guy chooses and says, ah, this is not working, mm. guess what? You're the one who has had already three kids mm. or two kids mm. and you're struggling. And mm. it goes against the word of God. But oh, yes. so many Christians are, mm. we are doing it yeah. uh, because the world has told us it's okay. Yes. And we are accepting it. Mm. But I think cohabiting just needs to, to stop. Exactly. We just need to know that it's not... It's not God's plan. No, it is not. Yeah. It's not God's desired plan for you. Mm. Um, you know, and, and with that, of course, usually some men say, I want to see if, if she's you can give birth to conceive. Yes. And carry a baby full time. <clears throat> so, and then you find that they'll wait up like maybe seven months or like three, four months into the pregnancy. They're like, I think this baby is going to, you oh, know what I mean? Eh? Yeah. And you're like, wow, so a marriage, really the marriage is just reduced to to giving Children birth yeah. and giving birth yeah no yeah but i think it all shows a lack of commitment because if you want to come we stay mm. you get married and you stay properly yeah. you know what's the fear what's the mm. and i've seen lots of people by the way mm. they say mm. when we were cohabiting things were fine we're okay yes, and then I've we got that. married yes one Two months, five months down the road, like, we can't do it anymore. Yes, I've had that a lot, the devil? actually. Because yes. he knows there, hey, there's nothing to disturb. You're, yes. kawa, you're in his yes. thing. Yes. The moment you commit. And have a priestly blessing yes. and a God-honored marriage, he says, okay, let me show you. You've yeah. entered now. You're destabilizing my territory. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he will make things, you know, mm. and you will fail. And yeah. you know, things like So just start things. Mm. Do things first, uh, right the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Do things right the first time mm -hmm. and just wait. Just mm. wait. There's no rush, you yeah. know. <laughs> there is no rush. And sometimes 
this thing, sex, is the one that causes us to, you know, come with stay mm. because it's, you feel like, oh my God, you're no. burning. But then it's so funny mm. that someone said, before marriage, people are dying to have sex. Mm. Then they get married and the women don't want to have sex. With it's husband. true. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, but the devil just comes and tries to yeah. spoil the mix that yeah. God has, you know. Put in place. Has ordained, mm. yeah. He has ordained a place for marriage. Mm. He has ordained a blessing mm. uh, for marriage. And the truth is, we are victors. Mm. You know what I mean? The devil, unfortunately, has succeeded in so many ways of corrupting people's minds, mm. yeah. And that when marriages go through valleys, which they will, mm. which they do, uh, and and challenges, and and just the you know just the the dark places of life, mm. yeah. The devil then convinces you that you cannot overcome come the yeah. thing that is in front of you and it could be anything from finances to unfaithfulness to mm. you know all the things that you know come you know to just you know in-laws and drama and even some marriages failure to conceive you know yeah. there are all manner of things that could lead to a valley in your marriage mm. yeah but I want you and you're out there and you're a Christian right and a Christian wife and you, and, and you have Christian friends or not um I want you to know that you're a victor. Mm. I want you to know that uh, this story has an expected end and that expected end is hope, you yeah. know, because God is on your side yeah. Yeah, and he loves you mm. and he wants you to have a great marriage, mm. a fulfilling marriage, a purposeful marriage, mm -hmm. a testimony of a marriage. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Do not listen to the enemy's lies. Mm. Yeah. And I think it goes back to value. Like, yeah. When you know your identity in Christ and so your good. worth, That's you will so not good. accept someone tell you come with stay. Excuse me. Uh, 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 no. Me, a daughter of the most high. Ah, ah, Excuse ah. me. We must do the thing the right exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah. So take your stand because you mm. have the choice. You know yeah. we're the ones who choose. Because so the day proposes, you can say no or yes. Mm -hmm. So you you have the power, you know. Mm -hmm. So don't let that power be taken away from you. That's God, so ha, it, yeah, you are worth a lot. Amen. So if women could value themselves, they will not entertain such nonsense. That's true. Yeah. That's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. 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 So, Jojo, I know you run a business. <laughs> First, tell us about this business, first of all. Uh, and there are some things we should yeah. stop normalizing as Christian business owners. Yeah. I'm sure there is something you can tell us. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I am a co-founder and uh, MD at a business called Wazi, mm -hmm. uh, Wazi Vision. Mm. Wazi is the first um, company in Uganda to locally, keyword being locally, mm -hmm. design and manufacture eyewear. Mm -hmm. uh, eyewear is, oh gosh, I didn't you, know I was going to have this. I, <laughs> I have my, my, my sheds in the car. I should have yeah. brought them. Yeah. But, you know, we, 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 we design and manufacture right here. From in, here? Oh, yes. In Kampala, mm. we have the machines. Mm. Uh, we have a production team. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, it's such an incredible opportunity to, mm. to do what you, we're doing, to mm. give value to um, the market um, and, and to put Uganda on the map mm. as one of the six countries countries in Africa that design and manufacture eyewear. That's yeah. amazing. So mm. it's um it's su such a privilege for me uh, to serve God in that aspect in as business. well. Yeah, yeah, in the business, yeah. Mm. And to your uh, question about the things that we normalize as Christian business owners, oh. I think it's it's sometimes, you know, dodging taxes. <laughs> yeah, the truth <laughs> is taxes can be hard, yeah. I'm telling you, pay mm -hmm. and all the other things, yeah. um, you know, like, you know, we, we import certain material um, mm. that we use to make the glasses. Mm. And then there are those that we get locally, mm -hmm. bamboo, cow horn, we get those are local, but there are those we import and the taxes. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you can be, um, you can be tempted to uh, under declare. Yes. You get mm. because you're the one who knows your product. Of course. So you can tell the supplier. <laughs> write this. Eh? Mm. Uh, write this. You mm. get. And the supplier will write. The wind reaches this side. Does your end know? They you know, don't. And not because I was such a niche industry. Yeah. <laughs> we could even be the only ones. They don't who understand. Know. It. Hey, we could be the only ones who know. You know what I mean? So you're tempted. Uh, you know, you're tempted to not pay tax, pay ye. You know what mm. I mean? You're tempted to like keep doing, not even auditing your books of accounts. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Uh, not having a board to hold you accountable mm. because you're like, ha. I will do my own, things. I'll do my thing. Mm. The things, I mean, I'll do it. No one will ask me questions. <laughs> no one is going to give me targets. Exactly. And no one is going to ask me why it holds me accountable. Yes, you know, and we're like, yeah. And you know, when you begin to 
um, exp um, test, I think that's what I was looking for, test mm. some bit of, of, of success eh? and you don't have systems and controls, you're like, by this part joking, yeah. today I made 20 milli. Mm -mm. And then you, what, it, oh, it goes mind. through the bank <laughs> and then so and so has to sign yeah. and, then the and then the board is supposed to approve the budget mm. for the next quarter. Mm. Ah, ah. No. You did joke. Mm. But how tight. <laughs> yeah. Eh, the ch two million. Ah, so you happy, get. Eh. God has seen mm. that you're not being faithful. faithful. You and get. you're not being faithful in that little. Because like, there is so much more he can give mm. you. Then he, how can he entrust you with even that? You know, mm. the bigger things. So yeah. I think that's a good one for business owners. For us, we are uh, our business owners. As Christians, do what is right. I yes. know it's hard. Yes. Um, the money feels like they are taking it. Yes. But just give to Caesar. What belongs to Caesar? Do your part, honestly. And and trust God. Mm. Because, you know, he says, if I can dress the lilies, <laughs> you know. Mm. You know, a King David said in the Psalms, he said, I was yeah. young and now I'm old. Mm. But I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Now they are young begging. For, for bread. bread you get and then he has given me an opportunity to serve him yeah. through a business i must that word does mm. not become invalid yeah. because i'm in a business no. you get what i mean yeah. it, that word is valid yesterday it's valid today yeah. and it's going to be valid tomorrow, tomorrow. Mm. in the name of jesus amen. amen amazing since we're talking about business mm. guys um we're here at best western plus the athena hotel mm -hmm. they have amazing conference rooms mm -hmm. that you can come mm -hmm. have the strategic workshops mm -hmm. here you know those board retreats board mm -hmm. meetings they have ample you know space for you to do that they are professional the Wi-Fi is excellent, so you can just have those meetings effectively. Yeah. So please check them out at yeah. Best Western Plus, the Athena Hotel, yeah. on Instagram, yeah. or their you know, website, yeah. and come enjoy their services. Absolutely. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. All right. Uh, yeah. I have another one. That... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm concluding. I'm concluding. <laughs> but I want to touch on it. A yeah. bit. I know it's a bit sensitive. Mm. Maybe you will guide me. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. Uh -huh. I feel like we are normalizing... We are romanticizing wow. mental health. Ha! Mm. Touched it. <laughs> Even me, I'm scared. Let to me say. sit upright. Even me, I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, don't come for me. But I just feel yeah. that, um, yes, it's like me, you know, I'm going through. <laughs> <laughs> Producer, please, you're distracting me. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like we have over normalized it. Mm. Me, my mind, I'm not in the right headspace. Mm. So you treat people anyhow. Until now, my I'm going through. First of all, mm. not diagnosed mm. because you're treating yourself. You're saying you have mental health issues or you're de I'm depressed. So I will do what I want. I will do mm. all these things. And I feel like, no. I feel like, no, especially as Christians, like we have over embraced anti me. And I know there's a space for depression. It's mm. there. I mean, it happens. Mental health is real. Mm. But I'm talking about people who are just, first of all, not diagnosed, but embracing it and yeah. saying, me, this is who I am. So I will yeah. treat people the way I want yeah. because I am going through something. So you cannot tell me I'm anything. Dealing. I'm dealing. Mm. So I will not show up as a you know, as a wife, as a mother, I'm dealing. I'll not show up as a friend, mm. as a bi I am dealing. As a business owner. Exactly. You'll be like, please, eh? Don't stress me. Don't stress me. So I think mm. there's a lot of romanticizing mental health that yeah. we need to just... Yeah, I know mm. you may come for me, but for me, that's how I feel. And yeah. I also remember when I was um, when I had my second born, yeah. you know, um, I said, oh, I have postpartum depression. Mm. And <laughs> my sister in was like, but do you, do you, do, do you really? know what postpartum <laughs> depression is? Yeah. And sometimes we just take things of the world and claim them. Mm -hmm. Me have postpartum depression, mm. and yet you're going through the blues. Mm. It's tough, yes, mm. but do you actually have mm. postpartum depression? Yeah. Mm. So for me, it it brought you know I was a bit I was a bit defensive. I'm like, sure, but you don't know what I've been through. But yeah. I thought about it, like, do I? Because people are actually struggling. Real people are going through depression, and it's bad. So let's not just romanticize it and pick yeah. it up and run with it and own it in yeah. a way, you know? Yeah. yeah. So for me, I don't know. What do you have to say about that? Wow, Lisa, mm, um, it's tough. you know, my authority, to be honest, um, is the word of God. Mm. And, and, and I think that's where I draw everything, all mm. of life. Yeah. I draw it from the word of God. So I'll mm. always go back to the word of God. Mm. And the truth is, there's a time I felt eh, like I was an insensitive person. Mm. Like when I would, you know, when someone would tell me this and the other, and I'd be like, wake up, 
dress up and mm-hmm. show, show up. up. <laughs> <laughs> and have those three lights. I said, yeah. eh, but God, I think mm-hmm. I am I'm being a I'm bit, big, too, I'm being much, a bit yeah. too much, mm-hmm. you know. But then, as as I honestly hold the same view, and again, they may come for both of us yeah. now. <laughs> but, you know, I hold the same view because the word of God says, and every day he says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Mm. I will be glad in it. I will rejoice. Mm. Then say you will rejoice because everything is good. Mm. Then say you will rejoice because, uh, you know, you had the most amazing, glorious day before. He yeah. says, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. rejoice. Yeah. And, you know, Jesus says, you know, in this world, you'll have many troubles, troubles. but be of good cheer. Yeah. Mm. Emphasis on cheer. cheer. <laughs> <laughs> be of good cheer. I have overcome, Come. and so will you. Mm. You know, and I could quote scripture after scripture after scripture. Yeah. You know that speaks to uh, Jesus never leaving us. You know, He says, "I'll never leave you now, mm. forsake you." You mm. know, and these scriptures will only work to the extent that they will become so real to you mm. and me. You know, if that scripture is not real to you, you will read it. You hear it being preached. Yeah. You hear it being taught, you hear it being said, but if it's not real and doesn't enter into your spirit, mm. and not allow the word of God to enter into your heart. Remember, guard yeah, your heart. heart yeah. yeah, and actually the scriptures, the verses before guard your heart, I'm not going to go through them just mm. to paraphrase them, says, you know, listen to these words, because if you do as I say, mm. eh, then it is going to, you're going to have, I think, a good life or it's mm. going to be well. The scriptures just before that, right? So, the truth is, again, I think it's a question of guarding your heart. What are you allowing? Mm. You know, what are you allowing to take root, to take center, you mm. know? And, and sometimes, you know, it, it could be triggered by offense, mm. that kata move. You know, it could be triggered by a challenge. Mm. You no, know, maybe when you are going through, you know, those, those low times when you're just given yeah. birth and you're like, my goodness. And I, I don't overwhelming. know. It's overwhelming. You get, and then someone said this and then you're like, oh my God, everything is, oh, guys, please, you know, and, 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 and you're negating what the word of God is, what? Saying, mm. you know, he's saying that, you know, we will overcome and he graces us and he strengthens us, you know. Yeah. This is the last scripture I'm going to quote and it's from uh, the, the book of the first Corinthians and Paul writing to the church in Corinth in mm. uh, the third chapter and the 15th verse and he says um, that everything that we have done is not of our own accord. Mm. You get all that we are, all that we can ever be is because of God. <laughs> we have nothing to, we cannot take pride or take a claim. Yeah. Uh, he's our sustenance. Mm. He's our abundance. Mm. He's our providence. Mm. He's mm. our mm. strength. He's our grace. Yeah. You get. And not for last week. No. For today. The Bible says, Banak. The Bible. I love the Bible. The oh. Bible says, His mercies <clears throat> are new every morning. morning. Mm. He'll give us daily bread. You know, and so we have to feed on the word of God mm. because the truth is there are things that can <clears throat> happen. If you last fed on the word of God two weeks ago, yeah. my fellow Christian, mm-hmm. and not in the church and not in the cell or the life group, but <clears throat> you sitting down and reading a by scripture yourself. by yourself and allowing that scripture to, to yeah. take root in yeah. your heart and produce the fruit that God has ordained it to produce. Mm. You'll have the challenges and yeah. you'll, you'll keep going around like the children of Israel. Mm. For 40 years, you'll keep going round and round. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, we could go on and on yeah. and on. Yeah. But let us know in the comment section, what are some of the things you think we need to stop normalizing? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Georgette, for being here. She has spoken so well. Amen. Where can they find you? <laughs> are they going to find you? Yeah, they can find me. Where can they find you? Oh, Even me. Wazi, where do they find hey. you? Hey. <laughs> <Hot top. laughs> uh, so Wazi, uh, we have our headquarters mm. uh, at Kenneth Dell Kamocha. That's, we have a store there, but also our production uh, space. If you want to see how glasses come to life, yeah. come on, we'll show you around. Mm. But we also have two other stores. We have a store in uh, Kansanga opposite KIU at Palm Village store. Uh, we have some goodies for you. So Ooh. please check it out. And we're also in Nansana. Uh, if you have a, if you know a hospital called Sebi, it's the biggest hospital in Nansana. Really good hospital. So we are right there with them. We have partnered with.
with them. Mm. Uh, so you just enter and you'll find us right at Sebi. <laughs> so we're in three locations. We want to serve you. Mm. We want to give you a quality product, yeah. a product that speaks uh, to value, but also to the fact that Ugandans mm. can mm. make some really good products. So come on over yeah. and, and, and buy from us. Uh, but my social media handles mm -hmm. um, on, on Instagram, I'm Adikini, uh, but my people pronounce it as Adikini. Adikini. Yeah, so <laughs> Adikini, right. yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, so on Instagram and then on Twitter, I am um, Georgette Ocheng Dawuchie at G Adikini. <laughs> right, guys. Yeah. So guys, be sure to reach her out, you know, text her, DM her. Maybe there's a question you want her to answer. Mm. She's a well of wisdom. I hope this um, video has blessed you. Please share it. Don't forget to subscribe and also like the video because when you like it, so many people get to watch it. Yeah. So don't hold on to this beautiful video. Share it with the world. My name is Lisa Kusima and as always, I'm here to inspire. Hallelujah.